This is Mike Austin's Flammer. These are the reasons you should own it. All right, welcome back to Mid Matters Golf, everybody, the channel where we explore getting better outside the box. You know, I've never really had much success with conventional golf instruction. And if you're on this channel, it's probably because you haven't either. And we're going to sort that out. Now, if you're like me and you want to get better on your own, you probably spend a lot of time trawling YouTube looking for that little nugget. And whilst you've been trawling, you've probably come across Mike Austin. The famous Mike Austin, the Mike Austin that has the world record for longest drive in competition, that Mike Austin. Now that Mike Austin had a training aid and his training aid was called the Flammer. And the incredible thing about the Flammer is it's almost disappeared. There's almost zero information on it on the internet. So if you happen to own one, please, 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 take some detailed pictures, even a video of you using it, and send them to me. I would be so grateful. I did so much research on the internet about the Flammer, and all I could find was the odd image, bit grainy, can't really zoom in, and the odd video of my Gosson actually using it. There's one other video of one other pro that I found using it, but it's kind of from a bit of a distance, and you don't really see you know, anyway, I understand what it does. And from the information I've gathered, I think I know what its benefits are. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Uh, anyway, the flam has disappeared. So how do you get hold of one? Well, I have spent the last two years, that's right, two years trying to come up with a flammer Mark II, a better flammer, a flammer a modern flammer. I'm going to call it the MIG flammer. You know, MIG Mattis, flammer. See what I did there? Yeah, anyway, the MIG flammer is or does the same thing as the old flammer, but better. And it has some little things added and it utilizes completely new technology. I'm not in this for the money. I'm in this because I love tinkering around. I love training aids. I love building my own. So I'm going to show you the MIG Flammer. I'm going to um, give you links to all of the parts and where you can get everything and build your own. And it's cheap. Trust me, it's cheap. The MIG Flammer is the bomb. Let me tell you, I spent two years R&D on this and I'm really proud of what I've done. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's find out how it's built. All right, guys, here we go. Let's show you what's involved in building one of these MIG flappers. Shall I show you the device first? Yeah, let me show it to you. So, please excuse me. I've detached this part that um, goes onto the golf grip just so that I can show you all the parts, but I'll explain to you how that works later. Imagine this is attached to the golf grip. This is what we have. We basically have a harness, just like the Flammer had. This is like one of those GoPro harnesses, torso harness, very cheap, link in the description. It is linked to the golf club via a threaded rod, on the end of which there are two metal balls that I got from AliExpress and these sit beautifully into these barrels that are magnetized. They have a concave recess in there that's the exact same diameter as the metal ball. This can now move in any direction. It stays put because there's a big magnet in there, but if you apply a considerable amount of shear force, it will break away. Benefits of that is that unlike the Mike Austin Flammer, you can very quickly detach the golf club. You don't feel constrained. You can leave the harness on, get rid of this altogether on this end, make a few swings with a regular club, bang this back on there, alternate with the club that's attached to it, and you'll get more value out of your practice that way. It incorporates something of my own. These are basically guides for arm 
plane, want of a better word. I'll explain that in a bit. But basically, this is the entire device. And let's get into what it's made of. Now, I told you I was going to explain how this magnetized barrel attaches to the golf grip. The old flammer, the Mike Austin flammer, had a weird contraption that kind of like screwed around the grip here and then it had a hinge here and it was all very cumbersome. I've simplified that. I simplified it in that this barrel has, comes already with a hole on the underside that accepts an M4 metric, M4 size screw into it. And uh, this one, link will be in the description. This is like uh, M4, 12 millimeters long, I believe. It's either 12 or 14. That's about the perfect length. And you can see it has pretty low profile head on it, which is tightened with an Allen wrench. But the underside of the head is very flat. Now, what that allows us to do is... In every golf grip, there is a hole there at the end, pretty small hole, but with a bit of lubrication, you can force the end of this screw head down in there. And then because it's larger than the hole itself, it won't be able to come back out. So having explained that, I will attach it now and you can see what it looks like when it's fully attached. One other note is that all of these components that are supposed to be permanent, if I were you, I would stick a bit of Loctite on them so they don't uh, unscrew themselves with vibration and trial and error. Okay, there is the uh, magnetized barrel now attached to the grip, nice and firmly. And um, as you can see, it's not very cumbersome. It doesn't add much weight. Beautiful, beautiful, sleek design. Okay, moving on, next part of the contraption is the shaft that connects the harness to the golf club. This is made up of a threaded rod, M4 once again. The reason it's M4 is because one of the most important components of this whole device are these balls here that I got from AliExpress. These balls that fit into the magnet they have an M4 metric thread on them. So that kind of box me in there. Now they are attached to the threaded rod with these guys, these connecting nuts or these connecting shafts. Link in the description again. These are from Amazon M4 size. Pack of these were super cheap. So they attach to that and they allow me to attach these balls. Now, I'll reiterate, once you've built this to your specs, come back to that, lock tight all of this so that it doesn't come off. So when I say your specs, all our bodies are different. Even two people of the same height will have different kind of distance from uh, the golf club to center of their chest up here where the harness is attached. So, um, you might have to cut this rod down. I had to cut a couple of I had to cut a couple of inches off of it. So you might have to do the same bit of trialing that. I suggest you start slow, you know, cut half an inch, see how it goes, and just move your way down. But basically, we have the threaded um, threaded shaft, two connector nuts, and the two balls. If these look different, it's because they are. I ordered two different sizes. I wanted to see which one works uh, best. They both work fine. Uh, you could get two of the small ones. I think they're slightly cheaper. Uh, it doesn't really matter. A bit more force in the magnet on the large one, but who cares? So that's the shaft. Now, I told you the harness was one of those GoPro torso harnesses, and most of the GoPro stuff has these little clips in here, plastic clip that connects to the harness. It looks like that. There'll be pictures, don't worry. This is it with my other magnetized barrel attached to it. It normally comes with 
something like this attached to it, a GoPro attachment. But these are attached to these normally with three tiny screws on the back, one, two, three. So I remove those and then the singular screw hole down at the bottom, I bore that out tiny bit larger to be able to put an M4 screw and I attached my other barrel to it like that. So if I unscrew this, you'll see there's a little M4 screw in there recessed in the back and that allows me to clip this doesn't matter which way up it goes there we go to clip that in like that now I know what you're all asking what are these two shafts here well these bolts with wing nuts are my invention I came up with these now for every good swing, and you're going to have to cut me some slack here, most good swings have an angle of the arms that raises. The angle the arms raise on is roughly 45 degrees to your chest. So if this was 90 degrees and this was like zero degrees, they come up at a 45 degree angle. There is a lot of tolerance there, degrees either side of the 45, but obviously too steep and you can't get deep enough to come back to the inside of the ball and too flat and then you'll probably like reroute the club over the top on the way back so there's an optimum amount but 45 somewhere around the 45 is acceptable and what these bolts do especially this one on the right so if this sits on the chest like this if this bolt here let's put the shaft on love it's so satisfying the click of that magnet if i was to go too flat of a swing just tucked my arms inside on the back swing it comes under that bolt and i can't raise my arms you immediately feel it and if you go too hard it will pop this magnet off okay and then obviously if you go too steep it gives you a good visual in relation to the left hand one that you're not moving away from it at all. So you're just raising the arms straight up, okay? So ideally, as you turn, arms go up at a 45, and on the way through, as you come back down, your arms, you hit the ball and your arms go back up on plane at a 45. Ideally, everybody calm down, okay? There's a lot of exceptions to the rule, but that's what most good golf swings look like. These are with a wing nut, just in case you want to take them off, you don't see any value, value in them. But equally, this plate has little slots in it. They were already there. It allows you to adjust it uh, for a bit less tolerance on the way back or a bit more, depending on how you feel. So that's it, people. There is this Frankenstein device. It's brilliant. Let me tell you. It is brilliant, especially for a beginner, a beginner that wants to get a sense of how the arms work in relation to the body turn and all that. This is great. It gives you a great feel of extension on the way down through the ball and on maintaining this distance, maintaining a distance from the ball to kind of like the left side of your armpit on the way through fantastic device all that's left to do is stick this puppy on and demonstrate let's do it all right everybody here it is the mig flammer the mike austin flammer only better so there you go here's the harness i have it quite high up quite tight just under the armpits that and you can see the shaft attaches to the golf club that you can remove because it's on a magnet and also you can remove this end which allows you to alternate between the training aid and then just taking this off and then grabbing a regular club and be able to hit much better than the flammer. And then you can see here these two extra shafts or extra bolts that I added. And those are to remind you that you don't, you can't suck your arms in too much, be too flat.
but you have to um, stay nice and wide and bring the arms up at roughly a 45 degree angle. If this was 90 and this was zero, then the arms come up this way at 45 degrees. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. Let's blow this thing up. Thanks. All right, just realized I forgot to make a little video about how easy it is to swap out between this device and a normal club that you can hit balls with. All good training aids have this facility, right? You can interchange very quickly. So you can make three or four practice swings with this thing, and within seconds, you could be hitting a ball again, just to ingrain or just to repeat that feeling. So uh, here it is all attached to me. And I'll show you how easy it is. I got another club here lying down, uh, ready to go. All right, just like that. It's off. Grab another club. If you're wondering what this is, this is the promised 3D printed Dave Ledbetter straightaway. Video on that coming up soon, so you better subscribe, <laughs> click that uh, notification bell, all the good stuff. Don't miss out.